two, one, and five. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'm just doing a sound just doing a check. quick sound check. We will be with you in three seconds. Quick sound just to look. talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> there she Slightly is. longer than two seconds. There she is. We live, ready? Yeah, <clears throat> there go. Hooray, we're on. Good morning. Yes, good morning, everybody. I will say everybody with this great sense of hope that there may be R. Oh, everybody, it's probably just my usual one. Hello, Julie, if you're there, because you're usually the one. So. <laughs> well, and Mike. Always there. Oh, yes, and the lovely Mike Willert. And, and Simon. And Sexy Signs, yes. And uh, we've got all our lovely regulars, actually, so you're all very much appreciated. There she is, so Julie. Nice. Morning to you all. Morning, Jules. Ready to roll. Just talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting up to our 10 million mark, says Nick. Oh, imagine. Well, um, we really are going to excel ourselves today because Nick and I went shopping on Bank Holiday Monday. We bought shed loads of stuff and um, we walked miles and miles and miles. It was a really hard day, wasn't it? it was we were graph, parked in the fields, which was about as far away as you can get from the showground. And um, we had lots of biggish things and heavy stuff. And we walked bloody miles. And miles and miles, didn't we? I was knackered when I got home. Um, but then uh, I was in on Tuesday in here and it was busy with people. Didn't get a chance to look at much to do with the stock. And then Wednesday I was at home having a day. No, I wasn't. No, I was at a spa day with my sister. We had a special treat for ourselves because we felt we'd earned it. And we went to, where is it? I can never remember. Calcock. Calcock. Manor Spa near Tetbury and it was fantastic. Then we had to do some sort of heavy duty stuff paperwork wise in the afternoon and at the end of it we said what spa? Felt mm -hmm. like it had happened years ago. Mm -hmm. And then on Thursday Barbara was in here, that was yesterday, I'm confused this week, it's a bank holiday. Barbara was working yesterday for me so that I could spend the day sorting out tax return and um, general paperwork and making those sort of phone calls to Virgin Media because they've cut you off and Oh, the things that just make you want to die when you're trying to get through to them all. Anyway, did it all, cleaned my desk, sat there thinking, wow, this is amazing. And um, needless to say, we've come in this morning as if we've come into a shop that's had a bomb go off. We've got loads of stuff here, and as usual, no prices, none whatsoever. So what we thought we would do is we'll walk around, we'll show you what we've got, and if anybody likes anything, then they can always give us a call. We will be working through it. I haven't painted the wardrobe door. Oh, God, big fat fail on everything, really. But anyway, so, um, is there anything else housekeeping-wise that we need to tell anybody? We are going shopping again on Sunday, so we'll be deluged again with even more stuff. But hey, whilst we can, we will. Um, Malt House is doing well, selling a lot of paint up there as well. Paint is going mad. You can tell that people have got their spring fever on because the wall paint is going ballistic, which is just fantastic. Uh, we've got a few little tables we've painted. We can show you some colours. I seem to be doing the greens at the moment, so we'll we'll show you those. Right, Ginge, I'm sorry to say it's time for you to no. lift your old bones up and Don't disturb Paddy me. and come and do the do. Sorry, Pat. She's so good. She gives up on <coughs> Friday mornings for nothing and she comes up here. She does all the filming, she makes valid comments, and then she uploads and downloads and marks it with B and does all these other things that only a genius can do. <laughs> I actually watched her on the afternoon after our spa when we had to do some really complicated stuff to some solicitors and watching her downloading things, putting watermarks on them, writing over the watermarks, and I was just in awe. I sat there with my jaw open thinking, oh, I can barely even switch my computer on. So, um, right, where thank should we start? You, thank you for that, I'll take it. Yeah, well, you should. You're bloody amazing. You are amazing. Don't quite know where to start, Nate. Where should we start? We've got a couple of mirrors here. We've got a great big one. Bought this one, just very simple gold frame, but it's bevel-edged and it's huge and actually really very nice. We've got this white carved mirror, which I think is also very pretty. It doesn't have beveled glass, but it's got a nice look to it. So those will be going on. 
Uh, moving round, let me see, where can I put my coffee? Let's balance it on that tin. I thought this was a bit natty and I bought three of them. That shows you how natty I thought it was. The lady didn't actually know what it was. She thought it was for plants, but actually it's for toilet rolls. So these little knobbly bits on the screw and you put the toilet roll on there and you can stand two toilet rolls in the top in readiness. And I thought as a rustic one, if you had a an outside loo or if you've got a, a I don't know. Do, do people have outside loos anymore? Not you, since we were children. Oh, do you remember Grampy's we are old. old outside loo? And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Bucket> and <chocolate. laughs> And it had a handle and it used to, the oh. system lid used to jump up and down oh. and there were spiders and it smelt damp. Oh my God. And it used to have that awful Isal toilet paper. Do you remember? <laughs> God. <laughs> Too much information, oh Nick. God. Oh my God. So these I got, which I thought were lovely. Nick thought these were particularly lovely. In fact, you spotted them, didn't you? Um, they're hanging basket brackets and they just fit onto your wall. We've got one with a duck and one with a rabbit. I don't know which way round is, yeah, both the same, same on both sides. So those are really nice, perfect for this time of year, getting your hanging baskets up. Um, as soon as the wind stops, that will help with baskets as well. This I think is a, um, what do we say this was, a game hanger um, for hanging pheasants on. But again, I thought this was rather nice to have in a kitchen, a bit like a battery de cuisine. You can hang sort of bits of herbs off it or utensils, whatever. And it's all lovely and rusty, which of course is why I love it so much. Um, mm -hmm. This, which is a candelabra, and I don't know what you put in these. You could put fruit, I suppose, or you could put um, those uh, china balls or onyx eggs or fir cones or whatever you like, really. Um, but I thought that was a nice, big, strong, sturdy one. So if you were doing al fresco dining, that would look pretty impressive. Um, we'll come back to those tables after the Nick has run the way out. These I thought were very sweet. Um, they are lovely, heavy candelabras, but they're mirrored. So all the sections are mirrored. And I think that those would look very stylish on a table somewhere. This I thought was gorgeous. Sort of, sort of homemade, I think, almost, and um, made from bits of steel and rivets. But what a lovely, chunky, sturdy pot for fruit or for, um, well, whatever anything you like but it just big nice heavy bowl thought that was gorgeous lots of people out there today aren't there early birds um little swivel mirror cream we've got a lovely cream uh table outside uh, very shabby chic and i thought this would look rather nice on it so we'll show you that when we go out but always like those that's uh, got to be priced up later today nice little frame here um made from ceramic i believe and in a lovely sort of turquoise with the gold on it. I think that's very pretty. Um, we got these two things. These are ginger jars, and I absolutely love ginger jars. And it says, we were all made from the same mould. And I thought, well, that's cute, why not? So we've got two of those, but if you didn't want the writing, you could, of course, turn them around that way, and then you don't have any writing. So I thought they were pretty stylish, and they won't be as expensive as one might expect. Um, this I thought was very nice. This is a lidded and hinged gold box with the most gorgeous sort of peachy tangerine sort of colour on the inside. Really like that. Um, sounds awful to say it might be nice for grandma's ashes, but you know, who knows? Could be. I've had some people buying these sorts of boxes from me before for exactly that reason. So let's zoom down into the other room now and show you bits and pieces down there. We still haven't even finished pricing up last week's stuff, Nick. We are failures, failures. Um, this I bought because I just loved it. And this was expensive. I don't expect anybody else will buy it. I just loved it. It was so French. It was on a sort of a French stall and um, just absolutely loved it. So that will be going on to the system a bit later. We've got this um, rotary sort of candelabra tea light holder thing, which is very nice. I think we had the potato sack in last week. Don't know if we'd had this in. Have we had this in? So. No. This is a gorgeous little dressing table painted in the French shabby chic sort of style. And I've painted the insides using old blue eyes. So that means it's all lovely and clean and fresh, ready for your undies or your makeup or whatever it's going to be. And to protect the top, we've got the um, cut and shaped glass, which I think is a, a big plus if you do actually want to use it as a dressing table. We picked this one up at the weekend, couldn't resist. 
Um, just love that sort of thing. It's in really good, clean, tidy condition. And um, yeah, haven't priced that one up either. Honest to goodness, we could pay monkeys to do this better than we can, Nick. <coughs> um, lots of the usual bits and pieces around. I'm amazed we haven't sold this little French dressing table, which I absolutely love. Maybe because the label's fallen off it down at the bottom here. That is on for 385 Really, really gorgeous 19th century French kidney shaped dressing table. And the chair isn't with it, just happens to go quite nicely with it. And there's a little drawer there as well. Um, and the mirror is beveled and it swivels. I mean, you know, that's pretty cool. Love that one. Then we've had this one in. Just adore this. Very heavy. God, carrying this back was a, an effort and a half. Jesus, my arm's at the end of it. Um, really heavy so Indian cabinet. When people say to you, can I have £20 off? They have to remember that you got up at five o'clock in the morning, mm. went out without your breakfast, mm. scavenged around all these dark places, mm. carried them with your own arms. With my very own at arms. At your own age, which is like old. 180. And bring it Thanks, back Ginge. to your shop where you pay overheads. Yes, and, and clean honestly, them and label them. Twenty pounds off oh. is, um, you know, box drop Oscar sort of territory, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, definitely. I'm just defending my sister. Definitely Sorry. a bit of Sorry box drop Oscar public, territory. Public rant. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are there are times, you know, when I think when people don't necessarily realise just what goes into it. They just see a shop full of stuff that's here. And for some reason, they wouldn't go into Marks and Spencers and ask for a discount. But in this sort of shop, they would sort of say, well, is that your best price? And I think, well, I hang think on it's a minute. If you put it out there that there's an offer or there's a discount yes, that's or something different. like that that's coming from you, you've made that, you've taken that economical decision based on your, your running your business. But when somebody else comes along and decides for you that your efforts are not worth what they are worth, then yeah, I think that's rude. Yeah, sometimes I get my vary between just wanting to break down and just fall on the floor in front of them and sob. <laughs> so you just don't know how hard that was to do. Anyway, we're told off as we moan, so let's shut up right yeah, now. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. <coughs> now, this I just love. Now, if I had room at home, this would not be for sale. But sadly, I haven't. This is just... Have you got a parrot? Useful. That is my parrot from home. <laughs> He's not real, but he's as near as damn it real. And I just thought he set the cage off rather nicely. But it's all right, baby. You're coming home and mummy as soon as the cage is sold. But I just love that. I think it's beautiful. Um, and it happened to look quite nice up there. We were trying to give it some scale. We were taking photographs. This, These two pictures here, um, I've put those up, but we haven't priced them. Jesus Christ, we're terrible. We're terrible, Nick. We can always find out for people if they phone us. Uh, we've got two very big, heavy, square planters. These are concrete, but they are very nicely weathered, really nicely weathered. They, they look the part. And because they're a bit squarer, I thought they were a little bit unusual. And they would look really nice on either side of a front door somewhere. So those will be on the system again, hopefully today. This, I love this. Look at this. I measured it last night, Nick, and sadly it won't fit in my, it won't fit in my hearth. Um, look at this. Little chunk bunks. Very heavy. Again, we had to carry this one as well, wasn't it? This made our eyes bold. It's, it's seriously do heavy. Weight training anymore, do I don't it? need a gym membership, that's for sure. No, I spend so much time moving furniture. A lot of it way above my pay grade as What's far that? as weight's concerned. 20 kilos? It's heavy. It, yeah, it, it's got to be, hasn't it? At least. It's, it's seriously heavy. You don't want to be moving it around too often. But look at this. This gorgeous crest of arms. Beep, beep, pads. Gorgeous <coughs> crest of arms on the back here. It looks Scottish to me because there's a thistle there, but it's got a crown. So that's game on as far as I'm concerned. And we've got the lion, two lions with crowns on. But for somebody who has even maybe a modern house but wants a fairly stylized, um, uh, what do you call this fire insert just inside a simple plain wall simple plain fireplace I think that would be gorgeous and I really really hoped it would fit in that there, kind sadly, of encapsulates the beefy aesthetic it does it? it's got yes. the crown the lions the raw tire yes. the weight the yes. chunkiness the smallness the style it's got everything <laughs> it's got everything that I absolutely love I think being a Leo as well having lions on it just appeals to me and um 
I should have been born with a crown on. I definitely <laughs> should have. Um, this we haven't put on yet. This was really pretty. Lovely little blue and white pot. We did mention this one last week, and we couldn't remember uh, what those wreaths were that the doves were carrying and carrying in their mouths. And they, it was in the ark. The the dove was carrying a bit of green, wasn't it? Showing that there was green from somewhere. I can vaguely remember that from RE classes. Or, um, what was it we used to go to as kids? Um, Sunday school. Sunday school. But I can't remember what that. And I decided religion stuff was. was much too complicated oh, for God. my brain. God, yes. <laughs> much too complicated. And Sorry, really, can't take any of no, that stuff in. <laughs> no, not for me. Not for me. So let's go and see what's outside. Oh, just quickly, these tables. We bought these. We've painted them. They've all got to have their second coats on. Steaming green, wise old sage, and constance moss. And we just are doing a study in green. And I've got some lovely candle holders over here, which I painted. Uh, in matcha, which is one of the other greens. I'll just bring them over and pop them on top of that so you can see. Um, let's just do that. I just love the greens and these little tables are so useful. So we're just showcasing green and um, those will be on the system. I think those we said were going to be about £28, weren't they? Give or take a little bit. But they're so useful and um, yeah, just loving green at the moment. Oh look, the sun's out, hurrah. We should just turn the wind down a tiny little bit. So this is the um, the oh, French dog over there. French table we had in. Uh, love this. It's got a drawer at the end. It's got the um, motifs on the corners and on the legs and on the sides and on the back. And it's got the lovely knobbly bit underneath. There's just something very simple and stylish about this is painted in a really shabby shit style, I would say, <laughs> but actually on this particular piece, it works beautifully. And um, apart from cleaning it, I'm not doing anything else to it. That would just look gorgeous in a hallway or in the side of a lounge somewhere, or possibly even in a bedroom, if you had a big enough bedroom. Still got this, um, had two chairs in this morning, actually. Um, really nice, sturdy chairs fine as they are but they'd look fantastic painted and actually I've got a lovely laurel leaf type stencil which would just look really sweet on the seat there. This is really nice. Have, have we WD forded it yet Nick? Tracy Allen is saying good morning. Good morning Tracy, come and see us soon. Yeah we've put some WD forty on this because this folds up which is nice and easy for carrying but this is your pot stand and would look lovely with some terracotta pots in it. Oh yeah look that's much easier. Um, and some nice red geraniums or something. So a thing about some red geraniums. Um, we've sold all our plants, except for some reason the safinas. And I think maybe it's because they're more of a hanging basket plant. Can't remember how much our petunias were, but we've got the price in there. And if anybody wants some, we'll do 20% off because we just need to let them go to their new homes before they exceed themselves in those pots. Watering cans. We've been buying watering cans. Weirdly, we've been buying watering cans that aren't leak proof because they make such great planters. And we've got a few here, varying shapes and sizes. 18.95. Um, what else was new in? We've got Buddha. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha down here. I think he is actually on our system. He's on for 24.95. He's also very heavy. Morning. Um, let me come and show you. Hello, my lovely. I want to have a quick look at that one, Jean. It's got a really nice painted patina on it. I really like that one. It's also very heavy. Ugh. Is there anything else out here? We had this in, lovely planter, which has gone on. It's $64.95 for the plant, which has got Covent Garden written on it. And it's already planted up. And I've put it there to show you what these other ones could look like. We've got three of varying sizes. They just look great planted up. And everything else... I think is more or less as was. Is there anything else in the van? No, I think my van's empty at the moment, yeah. isn't it? So we've got our work cut out today, but I just think I want to sit out on the pavement and talk to people and drink coffee like <laughs> I did on Sunday, Saturday morning, uh, which was great. Come on then, paddy pads, because you know what happens next, don't you? So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, sorry we weren't more informative, but we have got our work cut out as you can tell and I think I need a lot of coffee before I get too far 
into the day. So um, have a great week, everybody. I look forward to seeing you in the shop or at the malt house. Yes, please do. Please come and see us. Have a good weekend. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye. Bye.